With the completion of the stairs and the loft landing behind us, we're ready to reach an important milestone of this build. We're going to finish the framing on this house. We're excited to complete framing because it means the start of some projects that will upgrade our life. There's going to be a flush toilet coming back in my life. <laughs> yeah. But as it goes with all new projects, we're slow going at first. That took us like two hours. And at the same time, we're motivated to see how far we've come. I'm becoming a genius. Every day on the build brings bumps along the way and problems for us to solve. It is what it is. We're learning and we don't know what we're doing. But it also brings opportunities for us to prove that we're stronger than we ever thought possible. Brian performed some sort of miracle. Follow along as we start the framing on our cabin in the woods. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. We are back. You guys don't know this, but we were gone for a spring break. So we are back in the build site after a week off from building. And the last thing we were doing was finishing up the loft landing. That is done. So now it's time to frame all the walls so we can get to the big deal of electrical. So the first wall on the agenda is gonna just be this wall right in front of the stairs. And then we're gonna frame the back bedroom walls. We have the closet walls and the like washroom walls and bathroom walls. After we get all those done, the exciting part is we can move on to doing electrical. Doing electrical and plumbing, so. Oh, plumbing kind right. of scares me. Oh man, I'm so excited for plumbing because there's gonna be a flush toilet coming back in my life. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna get to work and get as much done as we can today. And we are readjusting our schedule during the winter. We definitely toned it down a little bit as far as building went just because of weather and motivation and a lot but, of things but now it's so go time it's go time we need to get this house done we need to get moved in so yeah. here we go let's do it all right where are you moving them to since we're going to take those bra these braces oh, okay. off okay we're going to put these in as temporaries until we get the, the real deal wall up i see I think we're going to put down a bottom plate. Okay. And then the posts should rest on top of that. Okay. Then we'll probably put a two by four on each side of the post up where. Oh, yeah, for a nailing strip for the ship lap. For every post there is, we're going to have a two by four that comes up so that this, this, so this top plate has something to attach to. Okay. It goes here? Yeah, there should be a post that goes in that corner. Like that's the one that I'm thinking is our medium size one. And then we have our two really tall ones. Bottom plate in, finally. <laughs> that took us like two hours. Yep.
bad. Not bad, not bad at all. Feels wrong. It really does but. feel wrong. And it is wrong. <sighs> Cutting the board, take two. Take two. Any bets? I think it's an Okay. Whew, that was trying. Seventy-five, seven, eight. Oops, so one, twenty, and one, eight. Dang, I'm becoming a genius. That's not cool. Is that your best one yet? Might be. It looks really good. We're getting better at stuff. I think that's why you start. You start with all the stuff that you can kind of do bad on before it gets to the house part where it's got to look nice, you know? Yeah. All We're right. Pros. It's been like the Ryan show. Well, uh, sometimes it's got to be the Ryan show. Can't always be the Sarah show. Good. All right, I'll come over and hold. And then you just bring it over and it fits perfectly. So as, after we left you guys yesterday, Sarah had to go pick up the kids and I kept working on the stair framing for another couple of hours and I was able to make quite a bit of progress. I was able to get 
uh, the a couple of the the studs installed the top the top rail up here and now all we have is really just two studs in place and we'll be done with the store, stair framing which means we get to move on to our bedroom framing and the bathroom and closet which it should go pretty quickly uh, these aren't load bearing walls so they should go up uh, pretty pretty fast but the most exciting thing is is once they're done then we can work on electrical and that's something I'm really excited about it's a skill that I don't have I've wired our whole panel uh, coming up from our main panel to our temporary panel for the house but wiring a house from uh, panel to fixture is not something I have experience with so I'm looking forward to learning this skill I'll probably go on a deep dive of really understanding the process but I'm waiting until we have this framing in place uh, so I can kind of keep my brain fresh because <laughs> once I start researching a topic I get a little obsessive of it so we're gonna finish up these stairs and then we're gonna finish the framing on this house so here we go There was a ladder right behind me. Yeah, I think 86 to the high side. 86 to the high side! <laughs> oh my god, all that. back here, mm -hmm. washer and dryer stacked here, we'll have our manifold for uh, our radiant floor heating on this wall, and then we'll have kind of our laundry or organizing and a little table and shelf and stuff right there. And then where you're standing will be a very, very small closet. A very small closet for Mr. Owen. Maybe just put two blocks up there. Okay, so Between two... Like 14 and a half? Well, that's what they should yeah. be. Moving walls around. Whoa. We are getting all set for the day. We just cleaned up the space back here. If you guys caught on, we're very short on storage for all of our lumber and it can't all be outside because it's pretty rainy. So we've been bringing a lot of stuff into the house site, which is causing a lot of issues. If we could do it all over again, we would do an outbuilding before we did a house. But you know what? We didn't know, so this is what we've got going on. So anyway, we're gonna be taking, we moved everything 
out of the way so we can have some reference points taken so we're doing all of our wall framing the right way because yesterday we got done with two walls and we realized one of them was off a little bit and there was a reference point that we could use and we didn't realize it now we're able to fix that and keep moving forward you're on the green uh, i'm on the green okay that works Well, I haven't done anything. I was waiting for you to come over here. Oh, you did a perfect job. Oh, I can't. Perfectly level. <laughs> nice. It looks like if it's like half on the the thing, mm -hmm. that it'll just be perfecto. Perfect. Welcome to Owen's room. Every morning you get to come out to this. Whew. That's all right. Oh, that's my safe word. Oh. You're, you're helping me. I just braced it a little. <laughs> well, it's probably hard being married to such a badass. If you ever put on gloves before, come on. Okay, hey, hey. I think you got the heavier side. Okay, watch this up. Whoa. Oh, I don't know. We were all good, and then that is there. So, all right. Well, you have fun. You problem solved that. Yesterday, we got done with framing, I believe, two of the bigger walls in these back two bedrooms. I think that you guys saw us build a big wall that went back into the bedroom that away, and it ended up getting stuck and we couldn't figure out how to get it in. And then Ryan performed some sort of miracle that was not caught on camera. I was off doing a call for work and I came back and he had gotten it unstuck and into place magically. So that means today we are working on Framing doors. And Ryan, what do I always say before I leave you? You say, turn on the camera. Yeah. And I didn't think, the thing is, is I didn't think it was gonna work. So I didn't think it was gonna be, uh, be good to film, but then it did and then I was wrong. I know, there's been a few things this past week where I've been like, make sure you turn on the camera. And when I ask him to turn it on, no. So anyway, <laughs> uh, we're gonna be framing some doors today. At first we were like, we're not gonna worry about doors. We're, we just wanna get to electrical. And then we realized like a lot of our outlet switches are gonna be right by doors. So we need to get them done. So that's what we're tackling today. Ryan's taking on one door, I'm taking on another, and we'll see how it goes.
Okay, I'm back here and working on the framing going into this back bedroom and we realized we made a little bit of a mistake. Um, as we were calculating the rough opening on this door, uh, we brought these two stud walls up to the rough opening. Uh, and unfortunately that means that after we put in the jack studs that our opening is going to be three inches too short. So I'm having to cut back this wall back uh, an inch and a half and I've added the jack stud on this side. So it's going to take a little work. We're not too far into it. It shouldn't be that big of a deal, but it's, you know, just one more thing. It takes uh, another 10, 15 minutes to get past this part, but it is what it is. We're learning and we don't know what we're doing. So <laughs> we've got to roll with the punches. Beginning to look more and more like a house. <laughs> 